This is the 50th honorary session of the Council of Ministers of the Organization of the Gambia River Basin, OMVG. It begins today with the preparatory meeting, also called the experts meeting, we discuss the critical role ONVG plays in fostering regional cooperation for the sustainable management of shared natural resources for the sustainable supply of electricity. Ibrahim Jawara is the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Environment. Our efforts here today and in the coming days must be driven by a shared vision of a future where these challenges are met with bold action, sound policies, best practices, and good governance. Please allow me to emphasize on good governance. Our organization today is at a crossroads where we have to critically decide how it operates henceforth. Coming to the end of the first quarter of this century, we appear to be operating as if we are still in the 80s. We must up our game. If this organization is to function effectively or even survive, an organization that chooses to operate based on tradition rather than lay down operational procedures in this day and age is doomed to fail. The preparatory meeting of the 50th honorary session of the Council of Ministers is a gathering of technicians from all the four member states of the ONVG, including the Gambia, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, and Conakry. I would like to commend all the experts present here today. Your contributions are essential in shaping the recommendations that will guide the decisions of our ministers next week. During the 50th session of the OAVG Council of Ministers, here in this magnificent hall. As we proceed with the expert session, I encourage open dialogue, innovation, and a spirit of collaboration. The diversity of perspectives and experiences in this room is our greatest strength. And I trust that our discussions will yield, will yield fruitful outcomes. The challenges in the implementation of the ONVG are enormous, but Permanent Secretary Jawara is optimistic they can be overcome if the will to do so is demonstrated by all players. The Gambia River Basin is an invaluable resource for our countries, and it is our collective responsibility to ensure that it continues to support the livelihoods, economies, and biodiversity of the region for generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, our sub-region is facing pressing environmental challenges from climate change to deforestation and biodiversity loss. Therefore, there is an urgent need for the sustainable, integrated management of our natural resources. The preparatory meeting, said Permanent Secretary Jawara, paves way for a successful meeting of the Council of Ministers scheduled for Tuesday as it discussed five very important agendas including presentation and consideration of the High Commissioner's 2024 Activity Report and the state of implementation of the resolutions, decisions, and directives of the Council of Ministers. Two, it also dilated on the report on the status of the Sambangalo Hydroelectric Dam Project. I once again welcome you all to the Gambia, and I wish us all a productive, and successful meeting. Speaking at the meeting, a large Alassana Fofana, the OMVG High Commissioner, welcomed the completion of the construction work on the lines and substations of the 1,677 kilometer long three by six OMVG interconnection loop 
and the energizing of the line and all 15 source substations of the network. Fofana said the completion of the work to build the lines and substation of the ONVG connection loop has enabled the four national electricity grids to be synchronized and facilitated the ongoing exchange of electricity energy between the electricity companies of the four OMVG member states, in particular between EDG of Guinea and NAWEC of the Gambia, EDG and Senelect of Senegal, NAWEC and Senelect, and EDG and EAGB of Guinea-Bissau. This exchange of energy could expand to other countries in the sub-region, such as Sierra Leone and Cote d'Ivoire, said Fofana. Louis Mendy, GRTS.